a new star season alpha 3.22 patch just hit the eptu not too long ago this time around is for all backers and uh some interesting ships has been added well at least one interesting ship and one interesting vehicle the apoa sentakye has been released with it as well as the origin x1 all right so in this one here there's a few updates including some bug fixes all right so let's just get straight into it under feature updates under location they've uh, made some changes to the derelict settlement they made a pass a polished pass on that they um also add mining equipment and resources in derelict settlement environment so this means we can go to um these settlements and actually purchase things you may be able to go find certain ones that have that sell certain things for cheaper and um possibly even sell some of the ores and and, and things of that nature down there instead of the stations maybe you can get them for a cheaper price there so we'll have to see all right so under gameplay they also made some changes to the structural salvage the effects they made a polish pass there they removed the following ships from Arena commander rental and pu ship dealership which is the spirit a1 and the drake cutter scout why did they remove the spirit a1 oh it's not even supposed to be because uh the a1 uh, dropped the last patch so it's not even supposed to be uh purchasable okay all right so under ships and vehicles they've updated the reclaimer shock claw to help prevent ship clipping and spawning under the pad all right before we continue i'd like to let y'all know that the channel goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month and i cannot do it without you if you do watch content regularly on this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so under bug fixes the, the very first one says mission should now correctly be withdrawn when player log out or experience a server crash they've also fixed an issue where after a player destroys their ship in the hangar it's possible that any further ship retrieved and delivered will end up destroyed when spawned from the asap the next one here says the fa lightning is unable to change weapon slot two and three mission markers not appearing after accepting some of the new derelict delivery missions they also face an issue where too many ai are spawning during the additional derelict mission they also face an issue pertaining to the replace me texture is appearing in medium brown color here they fix an issue where npc missing their loadout at multiple derelict settlements they also fix an issue where siege of orison you receive a trespassing warning in crusader controlled area during siege of orison they also fix an issue where if player eliminate the boss before the neutralized marker appears it can cause the objective to update incorrectly this is for siege of orison there is also fix an issue where multi crew drop down box is missing after first spawn in arena commander they also fix an issue where arena commander lobby invites not working from the party menu they also fix an issue where kill by death info ui element does not disappear after also they intend to run siege of orson overnight until tomorrow so my prediction is they may be dropping 3.22 uh to the live servers by midday tomorrow or the end of the day tomorrow that's my anticipation along with this two client crashes seven server crashes and a server deadlock I'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can check out discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video